Hi guys, I faced with seven issue in Unreal Engine 5.1 in our pipeline. Man, I wish someone told me that before we get in trouble with our project. Hi again, this is Dyson. Glad to be here. Okay, let's begin. The client give us this huge model as you can see and it's pixelated. Sorry because we don't have any permission to show you guys but uh, it's pretty huge and on the other hand he saw this clip here and we did that uh, for another project a while ago and he liked it so he want to uh, render or animate him, his model and at this level so we have a huge model and this level of quality and animation and we need a full hd 24 per second and three minute long clip okay that's uh, many frame and we and i have uh, honestly a one rtx 380 ti and i did a test i rendered that with arnold of course it's high bias ray trace and it took 72 hours and that's huge and with lumen let's guess 17 minutes and wow that's a miracle in these days so of course i will lose uh, some of the quality but we choose lumen okay the first issue i faced off in unreal engine is alembic workflow as you can see in, we are in cinema 4d and we have a pretty decent object here with this hierarchy as you can see we have generator cloner etc and let's export that with alembic file with default setting with this couple frame for simplicity let me replace it here and save and let's wait to save this file i want to show you here okay let's go to that file and open that here okay let's see do we have the animation or not as you can see we have this simple animation with this complex hierarchy you may say okay let's import that in unreal engine okay he recognized our object as you can see and yeah about the frame we need uh, that to adjust that uh, manually let me type that okay let's hit import and as you can see we have this unknown error message okay to fix that, I end up with this scene in Houdini. I first import the or original Alembic file from Cinema 4D and that's the proof that this Alembic file is fine and works uh, okay. And I fix the normal and divide that to triangle and render that or export that for Unreal Engine here. Okay, now let me show you in Unreal Engine. Let's import the new Alembic and as you can see the divide is last note and recognize everything here and that will import in Unreal Engine. Another approach to import our animation in Unreal Engine is USD file. Okay, let's export that to USD in Cinema 4D and as you can see we don't have any option for animation so I thought that's hidden, but I import or open that USD in a new scene here. And as you can see, we don't have any animation support in Cinema 4D and that's so bad news. But we could uh, uh, export that to Alembic in Houdini. And from Houdini, I will export that to USD because USD in Houdini is perfect. Let me... Uh, create USD export here and let me choose the frame let's choose a couple of frames for the simplicity of this demonstration and let's render that to USD okay Houdini <laughs> always perfect okay now let's import that USD to prove that uh, we have the animation let's choose our USD here and as you can see we have the animation and that's the perfect usd now in unreal engine how's usd worked okay for now usd in beta you need to 
enable that into plugin here okay as you can see you have beta and restart the engine and now let's import our usd file here okay let's import that in the model folder and as you can see we have this pop-up and ignore that i guess that's so complex for me that's for genesis and let's import that as you can see in this folder we are in the model a folder we have just the material i don't know why but we can go here in the virtual production and usd stage and from that we go to file and open that usd and voila now we have our uh, object here okay that's dark scene let's go open uh, this scene to show you guys here let's go here and virtual production usd stage open that usd file again and we have uh, this huge geometry let me show you the sequence here okay the sequence and we don't have any animation but let me zoom out for this object okay that's our object here let's go to the sequencer and drag that here and let's choose okay we don't have any uh, geocache here because we need uh, to import this uh, child option geometry cache as you can see okay and that's so complex and not handy to do as you can see and let me zoom back further okay it's pretty huge model because uh, i am uh, messed up with the scale here to show you this guys and i don't know honestly we have animation or not let me see that you see we don't have any animation and that's so uh, so uh, give me a headache honestly so as you can see the usd in unreal is in beta stage and that is so bad news we don't we, we can't uh, rely on that and that's one option okay before we move on if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content and help us the channel to grow okay and big shout out for my patreon supporter i love you guys for believing me we have a project file and awesome stuff there and if you enjoy nft space or cryptocurrency please check my nft page here i have an awesome offer for you so nanite nanite is the big future in Unreal Engine and I love Nanite because it replaces LODs. So uh, as you can see in regular object we have a Nanite option here but let me show you here in Nanite and triangle I enabled this Nanite for a static object okay now to our main object we have uh, an alembic uh, sorry an alembic file here let me show you we have this animation imported by the alembic file and it took so long believe me and that's so frustrating uh, for me because we have a back and forward in unreal engine and that's not good and as you can see if we right click here we don't have any nanite option even in the property and that's so bad let me show you the triangle here nanite triangle and we don't have any nanite for this uh, animated or geometry cache object and the fps tool dropping another issue i faced up with render queue and the sequencer as you can see we have this animation okay uh, i guess it's a uh, alembic issue let me show you that let's uh, import our alembic object or actor here and let's uh, import our geometry cache as you can see i placed this animation in this specific uh, timeline okay now as you can see we have uh, this uh, uh, animation now let me bring another uh, alembic here okay this one and we have uh, 
okay this one and let me import our geometry cache component and I will place it here for instance okay about here now as you can see we have this animation first and then this one okay and then this, this one that's so straightforward so I will render that with render queue here and we have a default uh, setting and let's hit render okay and that's our render suddenly you can see all the geometry cache plate at the first frame here and the render queue does not respect the sequencer timeline and of course we have a fix for that uh, you can add a running component of the geometry cache into sequencer but man it's not straightforward object visibility issue and that's so annoying as you can see we have this geometry i hidden that and let's render that in the render queue let me show you here okay we don't have those object and uh, let's render that and let's wait okay as you can see the object is showing here and that's so annoying so even if we save this scene the scene file does not contain the visibility information here okay i save that and let's open that okay you see that the truck is here and that's so bad okay vdb subject everyone talking about that in unreal engine we have two pros to bring our smoke or fire in unreal engine one of them is flipbook it's a set of spreadsheet you can render that uh, especially in houdini and bring that in unreal engine as a texture in my opinion that's fake approach and another one is a, a plugin uh, uh, written by these genius guys here and that will import the actual vdb file i test that and honestly it's a full of bug and will not work perfectly because it's not officially from epic guys and i guess epic will add uh, that to unreal engine hope so okay lumen i love lumen in unreal engine as you can see lumen is responsible for the lighting and rendering and reflection in unreal engine i render that in lumen but as you can see it's not 100 percent accurate in lighting and reflection it's need to be improved especially in like this this is rendered by arnold engine yeah i know it's path tracing not lumen but man lumen need to be improved Okay, with that limitation from Unreal Engine right now, I end up doing that with Cinema 4D and Arnold. I rend okay, I export every sub scene or uh, small scene as ASS file that's native for Arnold, and I import that as a proxy for a speed up the workflow that's uh, Nanite in Unreal Engine. So and as you can see i can load the whole object here because we we have a dense object and let me render that let me show you okay that's our scene of course it's so nice and the lighting is so accurate in arnold engine but not fast man it took so long so I have uh, this uh, extra object for the environment. Let me show you here. Okay. Sorry for the pixelating, but uh, you uh, un you have to understand that we don't have any permission to show you guys here. But uh, I want to show you the whole uh, perspective from Arnold. Let me show you here. Maybe this angle. And let me load our object and let's adjust the lighting okay you see that 
that's so beautiful. Man, I love Arnold, but the speed is so headache. Okay, let me enable the denoiser and let me show you. I use the fog here and as you can see, that's Arnold engine. And man, I will wait for Lumen to approach this level of quality. And I guess I thought there is someone should told you about this issue in Unreal Engine to avoid to getting trouble with your project. And I guess that's it guys. I see you in the next video. Have a good day.